Today I want to teach you how to safely prepare, store, and handle powdered infant formula. I feel it's not talked about near enough today in our culture and that's why I want to focus on it. I know that everybody knows, and especially I do as a certified lactation consultant, that breastfeeding is best and breast milk is most healthy for our babies. But realistically, not all families can do this and not all families choose to. So I want to make sure you guys are equipped with the best possible safe practices and information. According to research from the World Health Organization, powdered infant formula is not a sterile product. In fact, even though it's manufactured in the safest way possible, meeting current health and hygiene standards, it can still contain some pathogens, such as salmonella, that can cause serious illness in a baby that is preterm, low birth weight, or any baby under two months old. So I want to help you protect your babies from this by preparing it in the safest way possible, eliminating all possible pathogens. So let's get down to it. First, wash your hands thoroughly. Have a day's worth of four ounce glass baby bottles, sterilized and ready to go. You can do this in three ways. Purchase a baby sterilizing machine, place them in a dishwasher on hot steam setting and a hot dry, or after hand washing with hot soapy water, you can submerge them in a pot of boiling water for three full minutes. Next, we want to read the instructions on the container of formula and follow the exact measurements recommended by the manufacturer for preparation. Now parents, I know times are tough and formula can be expensive. I have four kids, I know. But please avoid the temptation to water it down and try to make it stretch. It's not safe for your baby. In fact, it can harm them nutritionally and developmentally. So we want to avoid that. Now moving on, we can make enough bottles to store and consume within a 24 hour period. Anything left in the refrigerator after that point needs to be discarded right away. It's not safe for baby to consume those. Also, if there's anything left in the bottom of the bottle after the baby's drinking, we don't want to save that or put it back into the refrigerator. That stuff breeds bacteria really fast. So you want to make sure you dump that right away as well. Now here's how we prepare it. Put a large pot on the stove and add the water and the formula. According to the directions and my mouth, that's 32 ounces of water and 16 scoops of powdered infant formula. This will make eight four ounce bottles. Bring the mixture up to 70 degrees Celsius or 158 degrees Fahrenheit for three minutes. Pour into the BPA-free glass bottles and allow to cool in the refrigerator for an hour or so before placing the nipples and the caps back on. When you're ready to feed baby, just use a bottle warmer or place it in a bowl of hot water for five minutes to unchill. Always give it a little shake afterwards to remove any hot spots and test it on the inner part of your wrist just to make sure. Room or body temperature is best, no warmer than that. Now you're ready to feed your precious baby. Now if you don't want to go to all that trouble and if your budget allows, because it is a little expensive, you can buy this ready to pour pre-sterilized infant formula such as the ones I brought today. All the companies make them and they're readily available. Now when your baby reaches two months old and your pediatrician says it's safe, you no longer have to sterilize your powdered infant formula. Just prepare it with clean filtered water and keep it stored at the temperatures we discussed earlier. When you're on the go with baby, you can't guarantee that the temperature of your baby's pre-made formula is going to be 5 degrees Celsius or under 41 degrees Fahrenheit. So I brought with me an amazing product. It's called the Mixi Bottle. And this keeps your baby's formula separate from the clean filtered water in the bottle. You don't have to heat it up and you don't have to refrigerate it. You just pop the bottom, use that separator as the agitator as you shake it up and feed your baby. It's ready to go. So that's it. Thank you for joining me. I'm Jenny June. Enjoy your baby.